Ask Reddit by Tetra Text. What movie really is rewishable hundred times? I've seen Jurassic Park so many times I can't do all the fucking dinosaur sounds at this point. I missed the part where the dinosaurs were fucking. Is that the director's cut? Edit, Jurassic Park. Office space. There was nothing wrong with it, until I was about 12 years old and that no talent ass clown became famous and started winning Grammys. HMM. Well, why don't you just go by Mike instead of Michael? No way. Why should I change? He's the one who sucks. Airplane. I just did a rewatch, on an airplane, and noticed things I've never noticed before. Such a great movie. Anything by Mel Brooks is good for a rewatch as well. The movies I tend to always come back to when I need something fun to watch, and I've seen at least 20 times each. The Mummy, 1999. Very easy to watch an enjoyable adventure. The Fifth Element. Just plain old fun and spectacle start to finish. Ghostbusters, 1984. One of the best comedies ever made. Big Trouble in Little China. Kurt Russell's finest hour. Best in show. 20 plus years later and it still makes me laugh. We both love soup. Hot fuzz. Yarp. Matrix. I've probably watched it over a 100 times. When it was released I had an illegal satellite card that gave me all the channels on DirecTV free. Their PPV would play it on 5 channels on a loop so you could start it anytime you wanted. I watched it over and over and over whenever I was bored. I'll still stop and watch it if I catch it on somewhere. It's insanely engaging. The scene where they storm the office building to rescue Morpheus is the best action scene ever filmed in Back to the future. Just watch this for the first time this morning. I'm one to rewatch movies a lot, and I foresee many rewatches. Can't believe it took me so long to watch this, it's such a fun movie. Trading places. Looking good Billy Ray. Galaxy Quest is just a masterpiece. By Grabthus Hammer, what a savings. The Princess Bride. Is this a kissing book? Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Bring out your dead. The Emperor's New Groove. The only movie I actually have watched X100. My Cousin Vinny. Marissa Tomei when she was in her 20s. Groundhog Day. My son and I used to stay up late on the weekends watching movies I felt had a certain cultural value, of which Groundhog Day was one. We watched it on DVD from Netflix one weekend before he went to a week-long summer camp with scouts. When he came back I told him I had gotten the sequel, Groundhog Day 2 and would watch it that night. We were a good 15 minutes into it before he looked at me and said it's just the same movie again, isn't it? The Fifth Element Badabum Biaig Shawshank Redemption It truly was, a Shawshank Redemption. Blazing Saddles I'm gonna watch that for the first time later today. Young Frankenstein. Any Mel Brooks movie, honestly. Goonies. When I want a kid, I must have watched it 500 times. I can't believe how far I had to scroll to see this film listed. Raiders of the Lost Ark I will always stop for it. It's top 10 for me. Die Hard first one. Aliens. Or alien. I'm not supposed to talk about it. His name was Robert Paulson. Lord of the Rings Trilogy, Extended Edition. 
A cinema near me is doing a marathon of these tomorrow. Do I spend my whole Sunday watching it? The Empire Strikes Back Any of the original trilogy